All right, Jabrones, it is, uh, I should be out on the road. I'm uh, still at the house, I gotta fucking swing by the bank, so I'm waiting a little bit. But holy shit, are we busy, boys. So, you know, every time I get really nervous, amazing things happen. Like, amazing things happen. And um, I hired this big dog, like, which, again, I've talked about them a lot in a lot of videos, and it has been, like, he's, a, he's this was an amazing, you know, I was lucky to get this guy. Very lucky to get this guy. He's an amazing hire. He's a high, high level guy. He's been really like quickly just 15 to 20K every week with uh, with his hands fucking held behind his back. I mean, like he is dominating out there, just doing amazing things for my service department. And he will be a manager at this company in short order. Like he will be, you know, I'm hoping for like a really high salary, like 120 with profit sharing bonus type structure because this guy's a fucking animal but let me tell you all the pickle i'm in construction wise because service i got a lot going on right first of all service i've got this generator project going on where i'm gonna be doing a bunch of generators for uh, a bunch of fire departments and it's a bunch of gas lines and i've already started on two but they're kind of fucking around a little bit and i got like it's ultimately going to be up to like 50 or 60 but we've got seven approved and we've started on two um I got a shitload of those for service and I got a, just a kajillion random service calls that like every time I think oh we're still on service like three four calls they turn into like ten thousand dollar jobs like that but on construction so September 23rd I start the rough in for the biggest job I've done I just did a walkthrough on it the other day and put it on YouTube and TikTok by the way um but I put that walkthrough on that job starts September like it starts the rough in and top out starts September 23rd like the core holes should be drilled so I start in earnest on the 23rd. Same time, I'm doing like a large scale, like $75,000, not too big, but like a remodel at a veterinarian clinic for a city way north of Dallas, um, the exact same day. And then the, in that uh, that same city way north up there, I'm doing what's called a splash pad. It, you know, they're like the little water things out in city parks. And I'm just kind of, it's a weird deal. All I'm doing is like the underground rough in, and then like it's a like pre-manufactured building and they drop it down. It's not, it's not a crazy big job, but it's pretty big. All three of those start the same exact day, okay? Then with one of my other construction, that's all with one customer, right? That's with one customer, which they also just gave me like a pretty, I've got, at a transplant lounge at a hospital, a small remodel at a high school in the west side of the Metroplex. I've got a kind of big job, to, another like good sized job for them. Then I got starting in October, I got Starbucks at a university I got to do. And then I got a, for another customer, I've got a city hall for a small town in North north texas because i'm trying to get more into the public shit right so i've got like three contractors i'm dealing with that do public work and like one of them i got a, like the opportunity we're looking at doing a bunch of text dot stations uh, kind of like these refreshes for these text dot stations or something like that uh, just a bunch of a bunch of public work is going on but like there's one there's one way up north kind of by denton a small town we're doing the city hall remodel up there that's gonna be starting up soon it's gonna take a lot of manpower um and then I got one in Colleen, Jesus, which is like just barely too far. But like I have to get guys to get a hotel if I go to Colleen. And it's like a small like $30,000 project that we got to do down there. But here in Dallas, I've got another large dermatology suite. This would be like my fifth dermatology place. But another large dermatology place. Um, another job on the second floor of a building I've already done the fourth and fifth on. Um a really big custom house with a natatorium in it. I don't do houses like custom, like residential, but this is for one of my builders. He's, his, I'm doing his house. He's got a fucking natatorium, boys. That's a word I had to learn. It's a fucking building with a pool in it. Like he's got a fucking indoor pool in his house. But I got to start that shit like supposedly this week. And then I got like a, like a total of like, I'm, I'm working, I'm finishing up two medical build outs, but I've got like, four that are about to start and then in november i've got like four of these minor emergency clinics that are all kicking off and i didn't even get into service it's like the it, it, so now like i've got a shitload of money again and like you know I'm, I'm debating on if i should hire more guys but it's like so i've long been of the philosophy that you need the guy before you have the work but like right now i have the work so like i you know it really does justify getting a guy but again it's like i'm 
the more I grow, the more it gets like, you know, like I pay like fucking like $4,000 a week in payroll taxes alone. That's just payroll taxes. Right. And like, y'all see, like, don't get me wrong. Like I have like access, like it's terrifying to me to live large. Right. Like I just don't have it in me to get my living expenses. That's why I'm still in the dirty brass house, which I love this place. I've been here for a long time. Um, and I have no interest in leaving. I really don't. <laughs> but, um, like, I have no interest in living, like, with lots of money, in which maybe that's a big reason why I have so much money in my company, right? But, I don't know. I'm scared of going too big, right? And it seems like, like, y'all just heard all the fucking work I've got. I've got, like, millions in work booked out through the end of the year. I say millions. What, over a million. Under a million and a half, probably. But the service work, maybe, who knows? So, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of scared of, like, how far do I go with it, right? Like, do I, like, because it, like, you know, like, I got that hater, this guy that, that just, he really thinks I have, like, everything I'm doing is just dumb confidence and shit just kind of falling right. And he's halfway right. Like, you know, like, I, a big part of my success, like, a big part of the reason I can do YouTube like this is because I just have a dumb self-confidence. And I don't really... Like, I'm very secure with myself and very confident in what I can do, and I, I don't give a shit. Like, if like if you guys were to say mean things on this channel, it would probably motivate me more. Like, I would, like I enjoy that shit. Like, it just, I don't know, you're not going to fucking get under my skin. But, um, I, 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 I am kind of just getting lucky at, to the same time. So, it's like, do I really want to scale up to, like, 20 people team... You know, how fucking good can I fucking be at this, really, you know? I don't know. That's what I got going on. I don't know what I'll even title this video. You know, Brass Man Wonders. Fucking dumbass. Whatever. I like